Tonight in Georgia, the allegations against Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis that have threatened to derail the Georgia election interference case against Donald Trump are spilling over from the courthouse to the state house. You will please raise your right hand. Taking center stage, Ashley Merchant, the defense attorney leading the charge to have Willis removed from the case after Merchant alleged the DA financially benefited from a personal relationship with special prosecutor Nathan Wade. I've been a criminal defense attorney for 20 years. Today, Merchant spoke before a Republican-led state Senate committee and, not bound by the rules of the courtroom, revealed new details about her early conversations with Terrence Bradley, Wade's former law partner and divorce attorney, turned reluctant witness. We met for about an hour, um, said that they had been they had been together. They met at this conference. Nathan was still married um, and he M Mr. Bradley was upset because of what happened in the divorce. He was upset because they were still married. You know, the Wades were still married and he essentially just left her after meeting Miss Willis and dropping the kids off at college. During his courtroom testimony last week, Bradley denied any direct knowledge of when the relationship began. Today, Merchant told lawmakers it was Bradley who first reached out to her with details. He did not like okay. the way he had treated his wife. He didn't like what was happening in the divorce proceeding. Yes. Okay. And I mean, I remember specifically him saying, you know, I handle my business, things like that. Like, you know, that I, I don't leave my wife without alimony. Both Willis and Wade have denied any wrongdoing, saying their relationship began after Wade was hired by the DA's office. Today's panel has no power to punish Willis and no bearing on the court case itself or the motion to remove her from prosecution. Republicans say the committee has a duty to investigate. Sir, do you anticipate a subpoena of Bonnie Willis and Nathan Wade? I would expect that Bonnie Willis ought to want to testify voluntarily. We would welcome her to come. As we progress, we'll probably do that. But if we find it necessary uh, mm -hmm. to subpoena her, if she's unwilling to come voluntarily, then we very well might. But Democrats call the entire process politically motivated. We just spent four hours on something we have nothing even to do with, quite frankly. Mm -hmm. We ought to be talking about issues that actually matter. And we're not doing that right now. We're wasting time here, quite frankly. And I'm, this is a Fulton County issue. Let them handle that. Today, Willis, also at the state capitol to qualify to run for re-election, said this about the committee. I think that people are angry because I'm going to do the right thing and I'm going to stand up um, for justice, no matter who is the person that um, may have done wrong in Fulton County. And so they can continue on with their games and I'm going to continue to do the work of the people. Blaine joins us tonight from Atlanta. So, Blaine, to reiterate this committee hearing we just saw there in your piece, it's completely separate from the hearing we all watched play out over the last couple of weeks where Willis testified. So what power does this state Senate actually have on the election interference case? Very little, Tom. On the case itself, none. But on the issue of what to do if they find any issues or impropriety with Bonnie Willis, they have two options. They can either refer this case to another body or they can recommend new laws to sort of curb something like this in the future. Now, what we are, of course, watching very closely is what's happening a couple of blocks away at the Fulton County Courthouse. That's where we're waiting on Judge Scott McAfee to decide whether or not Bonnie Willis can remain the prosecutor on this case. He has said that he plans to make a decision on that by next Friday. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.